All right, let's profile a successful salesperson who's selling in the new sales world that you've been describing. Personality-wise, just describe them for us. Well, it's going to be a mix of personalities, and and in some level, personality. Um, we sometimes overstate the importance of the personality. What is important is that they are tuned to their customer, they are buoyant in the face of rejection, and they're clear in a world of watching information. But I think one of the things that we tend to suspect is that the personality that makes you better at sales is, is being a strong extrovert, that, and uh, that there's an extrovert advantage in sales. And there's some new research showing that just isn't quite the case. Um, it's true that extroverts are more likely to get hired in sales jobs. It's true that they're more likely to get promoted in sales jobs. But when researchers have looked at the link between extroversion and sales performance, uh, the correlation was essentially non-existent. Adam Grant at the University of Pennsylvania has just published some really interesting research. And what he did was this. He went to a software company. He measured the introversion and extroversion levels of their sales force. Then the sales force went out and sold software. And he looked at their results over the following three months. So we know who the introverts are. We know who the extroverts are. Who does better, the introverts or the extroverts? Perhaps not surprisingly, the extroverts did better. Um, Not a lot better than the introverts, but they did better. But what was really interesting in this research is that neither one of these groups did nearly as well as a third group. And those were the ambiverts, as an ambidextrous, the ambiverts. Uh, ambiverts are people, this is a term that's been around since the 1920s, ambiverts are people who are somewhat introverted, somewhat extroverted. And it's really those people in the middle um, who do the best. The strong introverts, they stink at sales. They're too leery about striking up conversations, picking up the phone, asserting themselves. But the strong extroverts, which alarmingly are the people who get hired, aren't that much better. Because they talk too much, they listen too little, they're a little too pushy. And it's really the ambiverts, the people in the modulated middle, who do the best. They know when to speak up, they know when to shut up, they know when to push, they know when to hold back. And I think the good news for all of us, particularly entrepreneurs who come in maybe knowing a profession or knowing a subject matter keenly and being you know, passionate about that, uh, that they're able to, they'll be able to sell well because the research also shows is that most of us are ambiverts. Um, Strong introverts and strong extroverts don't make particularly good salespeople, but rather few of us are very strong one way or the other. Most of us are in that modulated middle.